Alright, so in this video I thought I would start using this uh, magnetic switch that I have in one of my kits. You can really tell it's magnetic when you get it to my uh, magnetic screwdriver right there. Otherwise, they're not uh, terribly magnetic by themselves. But uh, in any case, we're going to need some wire. And so I'm going to use black and red and try to get them to about the same length. I have my wire cutter and wire stripper tool here. You can see the blade there to cut them. I'll just cut them at the same time so they're the same length. So now I don't need that much plastic stripped off here so I think I'm going to go to 8 instead of 12. And I think this stands for millimeters. And now all I got to do is set the, the wire in there. Up to the tongue there. Squeeze the trigger again. And now I have bare wire on both ends. And so now I'm going to hook the end of uh, one end of each wire. I tried to just wrap this around the uh, screwdriver there, but the metal's kind of sharp. So better to take a needle nose plier like this and then uh, curve it around like that. Now you don't want it to overlap and I'm going to make it a little more round. There you go. Just uh, make a hook. Don't overlap it. So now it's tricky getting on camera but uh, you can see we got com here. That's where we're going to put the black wire, the uh, hooked end and I'm going to get it between the uh, round washer there and the jagged washer whatever you would uh, call that and just uh, tighten it down and there we go we have a good connection now these uh, screws I had to get this exact uh, screw bit I tried one that was just a little bit smaller and it started uh, rattling this one grips really nicely so uh, they tighten these in so make sure you use the right bit alright so now the next wire we can either put to NC or NO I put the light brighter and these are showing up a lot better they're actually easier to see in person than on a camera but uh, anyways we're gonna do NO for normally open NC is normally close that's when you're talking about switches and uh, the uh, breadboard switches I use are normally open so I'm going to start with the magnet switch normally open as soon as I get a good hook there between there, there we go just screw it down So now, underneath the uh, red wire here is a little orange jumper connecting it to the power rail. So now, this is part of the circuit there, LED circuit. Right now, this must be the normal position when they're together because right now the circuit's off. That means the switch is open, so this would be normally open. When I remove the uh, magnet, now the LED comes on. Now the switch in here is closed so when they're together that must be what they mean by normal so now I move the wire from normally open to the normally closed and I move the orange jumper over here so you can see it a little easier now I will uh, plug the red wire where the orange jumper is and then the black wire where the resistor is and right now you can see the LED is off. Now we're going to go to the normal position since this is a normally closed switch. That means that the LED will be on when it's uh, closed like this. This is the normal position. This is the abnormal position for uh, normally closed, normally on.